folks, welcome back. Welcome back. Problem one, the only I am a hobo Tom, and I do feel a little bit cheerier to thank a whole bunch of people. Actually, I might as well just might as well just go down my list, thank them now. Let's see here. Um, and I wish I was a little bit more organized. Let's see, I want to go to this folder. I want to see what thank yous I can give out. Let's see here. Light smile. Thank you very much. I forget if you were a new subscriber or you just left a comment, but you know what? It doesn't matter. You, light smile, you win twice because you always get that six count. Jared Lewis. Yes, thank you. Now I want to say that you were definitely one subscriber because you saw our master, the air guitar. JWC Bender. Man, you're just chilling out. 
We have briefcase boombox. You know what, Bren? You deserve a better one than I was going to give you. Mainly because you just told Nikki, you just told Natalia to take it all off. Sonny Bimbo. Bimbo, you two are already in the Daytona Beach Bombay League. I can't, I can't give you any more video thank yous. Thank you, sir, very much for participating. Marcelo Rodriguez, thank you as well, sir. Unfortunately, like you two told myself, I guess we can all just crawl out of here. And Dan Blaze. What can I say? You're already part of the Daytona Beach Bonfire League as well. Thank you very much for your insightful comments. And that was the hobo list. Well, I have something done. So probably the way I'm going to format shows for the, for the next three months. I have to think if I'm going to be doing any live streaming with video content anymore. Because that seems to be my absolute downfall. I'm still very upset with Triple A. In fact, I was so upset with them. I'm like, I should just say screw this. I'm like, and I'm like, nah. I have Slammiversary to watch. I'll tell you what, Slammiversary. Wow, that was a ten star, ten star, ten star show. Um. I'm just going to give the results. I'm not going to give details about all the match unless something like amazing happened. So for Triple A, Triple Mania, because I did pull my video out of my list, because this is an original content. It was Lady Shani versus La Hereda versus Fl Flammer versus Marvella versus Cheat Tormenta versus Sexy Star 2 versus Rihanna Dorado. So what happened? Um, very quickly in this match, it was the losing two women had a match later on in the show. Loser of that match would lose their masks. But what happened, like all, <laughs> I am going to post two pictures. This is, this one picture, well, I'm going to have, have two videos and a picture. But this one picture describes all the women's cage match. That's all, honestly, you had to know. Um, Cheek Tormenta lost, and Flammer lost. But one woman, I, I want to say, might have been Renina Dorado, or La Jareda. I'll tell you what, I've never seen anyone climb that cage so quickly. Like, this was like Lex Luger versus Bruiser Brody-esque cage climbing. It was amazing. Uh, to start off the show, they had their Battle Royal. That was really fun. Mr. Iguana did not win it, though. It was fun. They had a whole bunch of people I had no clue about. Oh, Nino Hamburgesa won. Congratulations to him. Oh, um, yeah, before I move on, that uh, woman's ladder, that woman's cage match, that was such a mess. I was so thoroughly entertained. It was a cheeseburger match. Or no, yeah, not a cheeseburger match. That was um, a burrito match. I have to remember this stuff now. 
Battle Royal itself, I'll tell you what, again, wildly entertaining. Mr. Iguana wrestled most of the match with the Iguana either in his mouth or on his hand. Pagano was there. Um, of course, no, Cybernetico was there. Mecha Wolf. Nino Hamburguesa. Bunch of other luchadors. I have absolutely no clue who they are, though. But Nino Hamburguesa won. It was, it was fun. It was actually kind of fun and hilarious at the same time. Burrito match. Then let's see here. I think they went. Yeah. Pentagon Jr. versus Blue Demon Jr. I think. Blue Demon Jr. won. I'll tell you what. I don't know what Blue Demon Jr. thing thing is. But he likes them, them hammers. And he just likes to throw those hammers too. Not necessarily the safest thing. Blue Demon Jr. did win. I'll tell you what. This was an amazing match. For him, being as old as he is, I think he gave Pentagon Jr. a stinger when he did a Canadian Destroyer from the top rope through a table. Ouch. That was definitely a Mofungo match. Then they had the unification, I guess the unification of like two titles. Uh, Laredo Kid versus Taurus versus Bandito versus Phoenix versus Ijo del Vikingo. Ijo del Vikingo is the AAA Mega Champion. I think, um, I don't want to say it's either, ch no. Some of you guys, like, they're, they're champion. I forget who it is. I only watch this, like, literally, like, this year I'll be watching it three times a year. So, yeah. That was pretty insane. Um, Ray Phoenix won. They started to throw money at him again. That was insane. This match was absolutely bonkers. This is another. Like, they're so good. It did. Uh, Bandito's so good, though. You know what? Mafungo match. Then we had Cheek Tormenta versus Flammer in a mask versus mask match. This match, there is way too much interference. From like their outside seconds. Or whatever they call them. In the end. She turned had to to lose her mask. I'll be honest. She turned is. Cute. She's hot. I don't know. Maybe she. I think she's in a relationship uh, with someone. On her team. And who knows. Maybe she wants to have kids or something. Who knows. You know what. Best of luck. To whatever her real name is, but she turned into lost her match, she lost her identity. Ding! Um, this match was beside if, if she didn't lose her mask, it was kind of forgettable <laughs> because of what happened during that freaking steel cage match. That was bonkers. Um, it was a taco match. I think the other thing with that steel cage match, one of those one of those ladies like tore their leg open. So I just remember seeing like blood coming out of like the side of a inner thigh, and it was just whoa. They don't bleed from the inner thigh. Well, they bleed from higher up, but that's all. That's only once a month. Yeah, no one was busted open. The other one had like scrapes all over, all like, all across her chest, where you could tell she literally like got caught. On metal pieces. Not the safest place to wrestle. Um, then Volano the Fourth versus Psycho Clown. This is where YouTube said, screw you, get the hell out of here. 
Or Triple A said that, and YouTube said, okay, we'll kick him out. Uh, Psycho Clown won. So, I didn't see that match. I heard it was actually really good. It was, from what I saw, it was like vicious. And then I just said, I said, screw this. I think. Yeah. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm so pissed off right now. I was so pissed off, I turned it off. So, because of that, because I was so upset, I turned off pro wrestling. I'll say it was a burrito of a match. And then they had Dragon Lee and Drellistico versus Jeff Hardy, or Matt Hardy, and his partner, John Hardy, who was John Morrison, Johnny Caballero, Johnny Mundo. I can't see how this, this would have been good. I'll just say it was a taco of a match. Then they had the guest appearances. Ty Valkyrie came out, challenged Thunder Rosa for um, to a match for the, the Regina de Reyes Championship. And then they had their Lifetime Achievement Award that went to Conan. Conan was literally crying in the ring. Oh, it was amazing, though. So with that, Triple Mania, Chapter 2's in the books. I was a 50-50 booker. I shouldn't be complaining about anything. Well, I am, but that's a whole other issue. YouTube. Boo, YouTube. Let's take a little break. And now, the one thing that restored my faith in pro wrestling, Slammiversary. Oh my goodness. If you have to see any pro wrestling show, if you paid the 40 bucks to see it, I'll tell you what, it was worth it. The thing I like most looking back on Slammiversary, there is no set impact style of wrestling. Like, one of the detractions about WWE is that everyone has the WWE style of wrestling. Impact Wrestling, they just kind of figure it out on the fly, which is so good looking. Um, seriously, the first match was Rich Swan versus Brian Myers for the Digital Media Championship. That was fun. Rich Swan won, as he should. That was a cheeseburger match. Then I think from there we went to the main show. As always, starts off with the X Division. X Division. I was shocked. This was super fun. Um, Speedball Mike Bailey won. They did like a super Tower of Doom spot, including people up on the ropes. That was absolutely bonkers. Uh, you know what? That was a surf and turf match. Oh, they also had the reverse battle royal. That was great. Um, I figured Shark Boy, Shark Boy won that. If you have never seen a reverse battle royal, again, this is the slime anniversary. You see it, Shark Boy won that cheeseburger match. They had the Briscoes versus the Bullet Club, mainly the Good Brothers, Carl Anderson, the Machine Gunner, Carl Anderson, and Doc Gallows. Took on the champions, uh, Mark and Jay, the Briscoes. Bullet Club won. This was a 
good tag team match. This, folks, was a surf and turf match. The middle of the show is absolutely amazing. Then, let's see here. They had the Influence versus Ty Valkyrie and Rosemary. Ty Valkyrie and Rosemary won somehow. I think they did a little bit better on this card. But, yeah, I'll, I'll figure things out. I'll tell you what. As far as female tag team matches, WWE and AEW have actually do have a lot to learn. Again, it was Madison Rain and uh, Tino Dashwood taking on Ty Valkyrie, Rosemary. Ty Valkyrie and Rosemary won. Really good match, though. Wow, I was shocked. Surf and turf match. Then I'll tell you what. This was the match of the night. This was freaking amazing. Did I get my Stone Cold? No. Wow. I screwed that up. Yeah, it was Sammy Callahan versus Moose in a Monsters Ball match. Plus, they were like locked in a room 24 hours beforehand. So Moose is all like, oh, the light. You know, when you come out from a, like, it used to happen to me at work. If you, you're used to working around fluorescent light and you step outside, you're like, oh, the light. Moose was like that. Moose saw a hot dog and a, <laughs> and a beer from some woman. So that was great. Sammy Callahan busted out the thumbtacks. There were garbage cans. Uh, kind of a homage to Abyss. There was the barbed wire door. The true forbidden door. This was great. I'm, I'm, I'm normally not a fan of like these like extreme, super hardcore matches. This fit the bill, though. This was... Tell you what, this was um, Sammy Callahan wound up winning. It was great though. I, again, the visceral image of Moose literally dragging Callahan's body through the thumbtacks. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've seen them use thumbtacks. I've never seen anyone drag through thumb through th through thumbtacks. Filet Mignon match. Then we had... Let's see here. We had the gang warfare. It was Honor No More, Eddie Edwards, Matt Tavin, The Miracle Mike Bennett, Vincent and PCO. Taking on Alex Shelley, Chris Sabin, Frankie Kazarian, shoot, and I forget the two others. Fudge, the name will come back to me. Oh, it was, um, Eddie Edwards' partner from the Lone Wolves. I forget his name, though. I should have written it down. But that was freaking amazing. And then thinking this match, D'Lo Brown showed up because Kenny King interfered. This was just absolute bonkers fun. Surf and turf. Oh, yeah, and by the way... Um, Team Impact won. Throughout the show, they had, like, the Aces and Eights showed up. That, that was amazing. Oh, yeah, the one guy of Aces and Eights was there in one of the matches. I think that was the Battle, Battle Royal. Yeah, America's Most Wanted showed up. Uh, Earl Hebner made a guest appearance. Dixie Carter was there. Sting said something. Kurt Angle said something. And this shocked me. Check out this video. Believable. But the match that, that changed everything was myself, Samoa Joe, 
Christopher Daniels in 2005. No, we weren't six foot five, jacked. But we changed things because of who we were. It wasn't about weight limits. It was about no limits in the exhibition. We transcended wrestling. We changed it. You, the fans, voted AJ Styles as most impactful exhibition wrestler. And not only that, but most impactful male wrestler. Thank you. It means everything coming from you, the fans. So thank you. I want to thank WWE for allowing me to do this because they understand that this is a special moment for me. Impact Wrestling, I had a glass in my hand. I say, here's to the next 20 years. Whoa! Vince is losing it a little bit. He's losing a little more control. Uh, let's see here. Then we had the women's Queen of the Mountain match. This might have been the down part of the whole match. This was absolutely fun and bonkers. The thing is, when Impact has these gimmick matches with like all these roles, so it's Tasha Seals, Chelsea Green, Mia Yim, Deanna Parazzo, and Jordan Grace with Mickey James being the guest enforcer. So the thing is, it's like a reverse ladder match, except for the only people eligible to put the belts on top and hang the belt up is that they have to ha have scored either a pinfall or a submission beforehand. There are no DQs. There are no countouts. So the person who scores the pin is eligible to put the belt up. The person who gets pinned or submitted actually has to go to a cage and sit there for two minutes. It's rather ironic that on Juneteenth, the celebration of Juneteenth, the emancipation of slaves, that Tasha Seals, the only black, the only black girl of the entire group, went into the cage like three times. And the image of a white woman throwing a black woman in a cage is probably terrible, but yet it added to the match. Absolute bonkers. There was a chair walking by Mia Yim. Jordan Grace wound up winning it. I'll tell you what. Solid cheeseburger match, though. And then probably after all that ridiculousness, came down to the main event... And that was Josh Alexander taking on Eric Young. Got that one wrong, too. I might have been a mark for this show. Yeah, that was just a freaking mind. got two right? What the heck? Yeah, this was your typical Josh Alexander match. Um, very technical, very violent. A lot of good high-impact wrestling moves. They pulled out the Styles Clash, the Ankle Lock, the Angle Slam. Um, Eric Young came out with the Guitar Shot. It's kind of an homage to all of those that were Impact before them. So with that, I'm like, yeah, this is pretty good. Once I started seeing this, I'm like, okay, I know what this theme is. It wasn't a bad match. Josh Alexander retained his belt. Solid cheeseburger match. The one thing I do not know. Normally Impact, they kind of, they'll give you like a tease of who's going to be next to face for the title. I have no idea. In fact, the only thing they said October 8th, which is actually after my um, 90 days are up. Both of them. I have to wait till the 17th. Get on to one, the 18th down for another. Is that October 8th is going to be bound for glory? I'll have to see how I do that. 
who knows? Probably, I probably won't have any audio on this computer. I might have audio on that computer. And this might just be pure reactions, and you might hear some like garbly stuff. So yeah, it all depends. I have to, I have to figure. I have to go back to the old drawing board. But for Silentversary, unfortunately, I was only a mark. If I was to rate Triple Mania, Triple Mania would definitely be a burrito of a show. It just seems to get kind of long, like it's start off. I don't know. It's so hard to say anything about Triple Mania because it's just bonkers. I'll tell you what, though. Slimeversary. I'm going to have to give that a Surf and Turf rating. That was above and beyond what I was expecting from Impact Wrestling. Bravo, Impact Wrestling. Thank you. Out of that, um, that's the recap of the weekend. Probably sometime tomorrow I'll be putting up my raw notes. I have my raw. I'll do my raw. I still do my reviews. My impact review. AEW review. I might skip impact. I don't know. Impact's, impact's always a weird show afterwards. Like before and after a big show, impact's kind of odd. Friday, we'll see how I feel. I am probably will do SmackDown. Though SmackDown, last, last week's SmackDown is actually pretty decent. Other than that, the Thank you everyone for watching. Please support me. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye. No guarantees.